Hey everybody, this is Feverhost with AndroidTablets.net and TabletVideos.info. This is going to be a video review of the Pan Digital 7 inch multimedia e reader that we've turned into a hybrid tablet by simply rooting it with the newest flashware firmware that we've gotten from AndroidTablets.net. Now, instead of doing an unboxing and unveiling, we're just going to jump on through it and show you the differences. I've already rooted this device, this isn't stock. One of the first aspects of this tablet is it's a little bit heavier than most 7 inch tablets. Uh, a good a comparison is I have a Augen Gentouch 78 second edition which is 500 grams and this tablet is about I'd say two times as heavier. Um, biggest reason is as you can see here the Gentouch is a little bit smaller. Put it on top of it there's a little bit of difference. This one has some. It's bigger on the sides, basically. It just it it weighs more. One of the things that this tablet comes with is a docking screen. It comes with a simple power cord and USB mini. I definitely recommend that you buy a flash card with it because you're going to need the extra room. This comes with two speakers that are located on the bottom of the tablet. Also down here is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right hand side of the tablet you have your volume up, your volume down. Once you root this, your volume up becomes your menu. Your volume down becomes your back button. On top of the tablet here you have your power, you have your reset, your USB mini and your card slot here. Left hand side, you simply have your power input. This type of pen digital is a resistive screen, but I will have to tell you, one of the best out there. This is almost as good as a capacitive, in, in my opinion, because you can simply swipe just like a capacitive screen and it goes and it's very quick this thing is not slow um, an example is my gen touch it runs a very bulky resistive screen you literally have to tap with your fingers this you can literally swipe the top of your fingers it's that that good um, I'm doing a very simple let we'll me get my finger on it first very simple touching of this and it goes very very nicely and easy um, I don't have to push very hard either Come on. I also don't have this calibrated very well. The downside of this type of uh, pan digital is there is no 3D acceleration, so you'll have some problems playing 3D games. Basically, the games will play, but they'll show in block form using a white block form. Once you get this pan digital, it takes about, let's say, a minute to a minute and a half to, to fully load up. Now the cool things about this is once you root it, you get full market. Now sometimes the market's a little bit glitchy when you first set it up, but it definitely runs. And also I've had no Wi-Fi issues. Market's down here, just a little touch or a little example, and you can see um, everything works on here. There's no problems. I downloaded Angry Birds as an example that does work. As you can see Angry Birds on the top installed. Um, so what we can do is, is kind of go around here and, and play around a little bit with some of the features. Now this is just a stock image that I installed for the home screen and uh, what we can do is we can go into the menu part. See very simple touch. I barely touch that. Um, if this is my gen touch, I would have to hit it really hard with my nail, pull it up, this, tiny little swipe, it goes up, no problem. The cool thing about this Pan Digital is that the main loading program that was first on there on the stock was basically just a loading program. Um, the cool thing is when you root this, it will keep the loading programs, actually keep all the programs that first came on here originally. So you have your main 
browser that you can easily access still and it will actually load up all the features that you originally had on the stock so we can go to browser here which looks like a basic Android browser except what you have is this very small little tab on the bottom and this is actually all the applications that you'd use for regular e-reader so what we can do is we can click on home and this is actually going to load up what it looks like when you first buy this this will be the actual stock version that will come up uh, eventually there we go this is this is actually what it looks like when you first buy it um, it's a pretty basic little program you got your home your reader your library your web music videos that kind of stuff you can actually slide over here a little bit and get to a couple other little applications like your stock your Facebook some games very very basic games the cool thing is is while you're running this on the rooted version you can easily just go back and go straight to your home you want to use this go back to your home it's that simple since this has the full market you can easily install your Gmail you can install your YouTube Google Maps runs fine Google talk Google voice all these Google apps that come along or associate with the marketplace they run fine so this is basically a small little review I'm not gonna go very long this is gonna be about seven to eight minutes just to give you an example of this is a sixty dollar tablet that I bought that probably retails for two hundred one of the best screens on the market right now for a resistive I'm barely touching this it's that good I'm very very surprised I'm just a slight touch I'm barely touching this thing it's, it's great like I said my gen touch I'd have to get pushed down very very hard with my nail you'd have to hear it and just very hard push it over with this just this very little swipe goes right on over Whoop, there it goes back no problem um, you could bring up a, a quick browser here and, and, and go to Google News you can actually see loads up pretty quick too I also installed Skyfire so if I click on one of these Skyfire will probably open up let's see let's do a little small click mind you I'm, I'm continually using the, my fingertips I don't have to use my nails just right into there opens up here we go Skyfire kicks in from there in a couple seconds uh, looks like a New York Times article is gonna come up there we go this uh, page I'm loading up has videos sometimes Skyfire struggles just a tad loading up video but here we go so you can see <coughs> excuse me as we're using Skyfire it's automatically going to adjust the screen to match my screen here but very simple scroll up and down there it goes reading the text here now mind you I haven't showed you yet, but this does have an accelerometer it actually is a little bit slow it, it will kick in though Within a second, it will bounce that way. Turn it around. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. There it goes. Now, if you're not used to or happy with the e-reader that comes with the stock version of Hand Digital, you can easily install Kindle, which I have done, the Amazon Kindle app. This loads quite quickly. This will sync with all your other Android devices or even your Apple devices, iPad, regular computer. We're going to open up a book I bought, uh, Stupid American History. It's about misconceptions and wise tales. Sorry, I, I kind of like that stuff. <laughs> Anyways, so an example of, of what looks like. This simply just swipes on over, barely touching it. Very responsive. back button now here which is, used to be the volume down button and we're out of there so this is a quick little review I guess turned into a 10 minute review of the pan digital 7 inch now it's a hybrid tablet 60 bucks probably the cheapest tablet you could possibly buy now mind you they're not gonna be 60 bucks anymore once they've sold all these out of clearance it's probably done um, but 
you know, I paid 60 bucks for a tablet that probably would sell for about 200 plus a little inside info. Uh, if you sign up for a Kohl's card, they'll give you 20 bucks off. I technically bought this for $40. How about that? This is Feverhost with AndroidTablets.net and my personal website, TabletVideos.info, where I put all my reviews and all the tablets I buy. So if you want to check that out, TabletVideos.info and, of course, the world famous and best, AndroidTablets.net.